Boy, I hope Charles Oliver pulls off the win against Islam Makachev at UFC 294. Just announced Charles Oliveira is going to be challenging Islam for the title in the rematch. Didn't see that one coming. And everything that happened surrounding it is kind of weird. And I'm not going to lie. I don't really like it for Charles. Of course, being the Charles fan that I am, if you go back and watch some of the videos I've produced, my live reaction to his last win against Benil Darius, you can tell. Charles is my guy. Of course, I'm going to believe in him. But I think, I mean, I don't think you could really look at the fight between him and Islam and be like, have a lot of confidence in it because he got he got smoked. But I will say, the hope that you're going to have surrounding Charles pulling it off this time against Islam is that it was a completely different version. Now, when I watched that fight, I still look at it and I think, Charles, that wasn't Charles. Like, that was not an aggressive Charles. But does that mean he's going to be aggressive this time going out there? That aside, everything that went down with the makings of this fight, super weird. Charles said he wasn't going to be ready to be fighting Islam in Abu Dhabi in October. That was just a couple weeks ago at International Fight Week. What has changed was that his plan to maybe try to get this fight not in Abu Dhabi was that his, his plan to maybe get some more money. I would assume so. Maybe he was just trying to gain some leverage or maybe get things on his terms and he just couldn't do it. But either way, it gets made. And I, I hate the circumstances, bro. I really do. Because, like, he was tech, not technically the champion, but he was really the champion when he fought Islam the first time, and he has to do that in Abu Dhabi, and now he's got to go do that again. It's like, come on, bro. Like, can the guy get a break? Can he get a, a, a title fight in Brazil? Like, come on. It, I think that's maybe something he was lobbying for or, or something. I mean, it's clear. It's clear. He didn't really want to fight in Abu Dhabi, but, you know, the, the hand was was put out there. It's like, well, Charles, if you want it, it's there because Volk may not be ready to go. He might be Gaethje Poirier, probably not. Uh, don't want to do Leon. So, Charles, this is your chance, bro. You're coming off a win. This is probably your chance. So he takes it. I don't, I don't love it. I don't love it for Charles' aspect. The card itself, fire. Fire. The fight itself. It's going to be really interesting. I wonder what the, the betting odds will be. I would think Islam would be probably close to like minus 200, minus 300. Uh, he'll definitely be over minus 200. Probably closer to minus 300, minus 350, just based off of last fight. I mean, going into last fight, he think he was like minus 190, somewhere around there. And obviously, having done what he did the first time, he's going to be a big favorite. But I wonder, if there's some kind of mental aspect that goes into it, seeing what Volk did to Islam, does Charles have more confidence going into this fight? The way I, I looked at the last fight, Charles was not aggressive. You, you normally see him being the initiator on the feet and uh, being first in all aspects. He was none of that against Islam. And it's easier said than done because... Islam poses an actual solid stand-up game, like a very solid stand-up game. And he's, he's not one of these guys that, that sits back and like tries to wait to shoot. No, he's content to strike with you unless that opportunity arises where he can get a takedown. And the way that Charles fought him, he was kind of fighting off the back foot. Like he was circling around the cage, letting Islam dictate the pace and, uh, and the range. And Islam, he's going to hold his range. And if you you get too close, then he level changes, and then he goes for the takedown. And with Charles, he needs to be the initiator in all aspects. And the way that I look at this one, it's like, Charles, you're going to have to come out with a newfound confidence, or at least a newfound aggression in this fight. If you just go out there and do the same kind of thing that you did the first time, ain't going to work. Now, the way he looked in the Benil fight compared to the way he looked in the Islam fight, night and day. 
is that the opponent or is that just the way that he fought? If he comes out like he did against Benil, then then I can get behind a Charles Oliveira at probably plus 200, plus 250, somewhere around there. I'm going to be all over that. Charles is my guy. I'm going to be rocking the bleach blonde hair. Hell, I might even go to Abu Dhabi. I'm going to be in there. I'm going to be all about Charles Oliveira for the next, you know, three months. I mean, it's like three months away. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I hate the, I hate the, uh, the circumstances, but I'm pumped for it. And, you know, with all the circumstances into account, it's just going to make the win even better. It's just going to make the win even better. I'm, I'm about it. Charles Oliveira, getting the title back. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you want to support the channel, hit the subscription button. Hey, Jack Picks here.